Hello, it's Casey, and today we're on board Royal Caribbean's Harmony of the Seas. We're going to explore the ship, eat some food, and have a great time. Let's go. We've made it to the Solarian Bistro. These potatoes are the best thing ever. This is my favorite breakfast in the entire cruise. Solarium Bistro is where it's at. It's open till 10.30, which is great because yesterday it closed at like nine. No, yesterday it closed at 10 and we almost didn't make it. We got here at like 10.20 and they still have plenty of food and it's not very busy. And we got a beautiful view of the ocean. It's not very busy. And I got a donut. 10 out of 10. The view of a sea day. It's Thursday. It's Thursday. We're going down to the promenade to watch the parade and find some cookies. There's a shopping event going on in the promenade right now. It's a little bit crazy. Cover-ups, plushies, watches. Two for 25. Why tomorrow? I like that one. There's gonna be a parade all the way down the promenade in about an hour. So we're gonna go try to find the table so we can watch the parade. They're setting up for the parade, taking all the decorations out. They have coconut cookies. Ooh. Can I have two coconut cookies, please? Thank you. I'm good, man. Thank you. I got another cruise cookie, and we're sitting in the schooner bar waiting. Have you ever seen such a beautiful view? We're in honor of trying to do food in the rooms, and we have absolutely no idea. This chat or the I guess we don't really know how to play. <laughs> the sheep dips? Comment down below if you know what any of these are, because I have absolutely no idea. So we were downstairs at the anagrams challenge thing, and before we gave up, because it was so hard, and we, like, our brains just don't work like that, we saw a family, and the mom was checking her Facebook because the little boys that she had with her were looking for ducks all over the ship, and they couldn't find them, and we happened to have ducks. So when the kids left to go look for a duck, I ran up to the mom, and I was like, we have some ducks. If you give me your room number, I'll go hide one at your door so when the kids come back, they can find a duck, because she said that they haven't been able to find any all week. So I hid a little duck in a paper, and I'm going to go put it on her door and hopefully they find it. <laughs> Let's go. We're coming with your duck. Uh, six? Those are eights. I'm so confused. Six. 644. I've never been down on this floor. This one. Yeah, that must be them. I don't know where to put it. We just asked the stateroom attendant to put it in their room. So hopefully it's there when they get back. Hopefully they're not weirded out that it's in their room. I promise we didn't go in your room if you do watch this. <laughs> um, we didn't go in your room. Uh, we gave it to the stateroom attendant and he's gonna put it in there. And now we're going up to deck 16 because there's a cannonball competition going on, a women's cannonball competition at the sports pool. And we're gonna try to watch that. It was kind of crazy earlier, so we don't know if we'll be able to see it, but we're gonna try. And then get some food. We're up on the pool deck now, and I could just watch this ocean go by all day. It's so relaxing. They're playing beach volleyball down in the sports pool. This pool is packed, but it looks like so much fun. They're trying to get everyone out of the pool, but it's not working so far. <laughs> Sirloin, macaroni and cheese, a burger, 
roll. And as always, the wind chair view. I could just watch this all day. We're at the Royal Theater waiting in line to buy bingo cards for Royal Bingo. The line is very long. We've been waiting for like 20 minutes and it goes all the way down the hall behind us. This is for two person, this is for one and one person. 69, you have a tablet and six paper cards. The tablet is automatic. You have 36 cards per game, 36 chances. But you just have to watch it like this. It's for the laziest one. Okay. And the other one, we get the paper. Okay, this is for the 69. So we're at Bingo, we just got our package. There were a few different packages you could choose from and we did the one that was $69. And then we got a free sheet because of our diamond crown and anchor status. And for $69, you get three games. There's a blue game, an orange game, and a green game. And all of these games you play within each round. And then you get a free one that you can use only with the last round. And then you get seven of these free little thingies where you like pull the pull tab down like this. And then if you win, you bring it to the casino and they'll give you however much money you want. And you can do these after. They don't have to be done during bingo. You had to pay $5 for this, for a little bingo dauber. Honestly, I should just get one because I'm a senior citizen at heart and I like bingo, so I should get one. <laughs> but now I have this one that I can, I assume, take home. Well, BYO bingo dauber if you don't want to pay $3. <laughs> I'm gonna start one of these while I sit here and wait. I just love 10 minutes. Hey, I lost. Hey, I lost again. All three symbols have to be matching to win. <laughs> oh, one whole dollar. I'd call that a win. We're breaking free, so win. I got a dollar. I got a whole dollar. Guys, I could buy like, I can't even go to the dollar store. <laughs> I'm not mad, I understand inflation, but I can't do anything with my dollar, so. I'll put it towards a cruise. Time to book another cruise. No? Okay. We're gonna do one more while we wait. Look, I like the little crab, he's cute. Wait, there's a seashell here? And there's not even a seashell on the back, that's a scam. Wait, they really just added in symbols? Oh my God. Wait, that's annoying. <laughs> they literally added stuff that doesn't even exist. Like the seahorse doesn't exist. I didn't realize that before. Hey, we still have a dollar. We can split that and get even less. I'm excited to use my little dauber. How do I do this? Let's, oh, is this gonna get all over me? It does work, if you're wondering. I'll put it on my free spot. Oh. Ready, folks? The first number is N35. Six. Oh, We're back in our room now. We're in, hanging out on our balcony. We did not win bingo. Somebody won. It's funny because each game of bingo, the prize amount changed. And the first amount was $500, but five people won that, so they all had to split it. And then the third game was $1,000, but only one person won. So they get to keep that all to themselves. All we won was the $3, like you saw, <laughs> but that's okay. It was fun to play. I love playing bingo and cruises. There's a live band getting ready up on the pool deck. As you can hear, the pool deck that's up there, you can hear the music from up there. I enjoy that, but it's not a quiet area during the day. I like this vibe. 
also a live DJ. There's a live band getting ready to play. There's a little stage right up there. They're getting ready to have live music, which I really like. There's music going up on the pool deck. I think we're gonna go up and watch the floor rider for a little bit. It's nice out and I just wanna be outside and enjoy the weather. We only have one more sea day left after this, so we're trying to soak up as much of the cruise goodness as we can. There's not a lot of people in Central Park right now. Central Park seems to always be a consistently quiet location, which is great if you want like a quiet place to go get away and kind of be out of the madness. I'm hungry. Is that crazy? Because we just ate like an hour ago, but you know, that's cruising, right? We just came back to our room and the dreaded luggage tags are here. That means that the cruise is almost over and I'm sad. The Harmony Quartet is playing down in Central Park. Can you hear it? They're still playing music up on the pool deck too. So they're like bumping some jams. And then down here, it's like a classy quartet. <laughs> and if you're standing in the middle, the vibes are an interesting mix. It's so nice and classy. They have the photographers out and about taking pictures that you can purchase on board. Just a beautiful, beautiful night. Everyone's already in their formal wear from dinner. So tonight is the royal night, it's formal night, and the menu looks delicious. I'm so excited. I've never tried baked Alaska, but I've always wanted to, so we're gonna try that. And I'm probably gonna get cheese tortellini, and the French onion soup is a necessity. Slow-mo for the cheese. You wanna break it? That's a big spoon. Spoon's the size of the thing. I'm gonna use a little spoon. Look at this. Oh, beautiful. Oh my goodness. It's hot. 10 out of 10, always. Our food just came and we got cheese tortellini. It comes with a garlic cream sauce, but I got it on the side. Thank you. That looks delicious. It's Neapolitan ice cream with a sponge cake and meringue. Have I ever had it before? No, but it looks good. We just left dinner. And now we're walking through the casino. We're heading to Studio B to go to the second ice show. Uh, it is not committed. We've made it to However, the ice show. This one's called Ice Skate. Please it's be mindful just the skaters doing their own talents and making their own show. It's not the a themed show like the one we saw we the also other asked day.
side, we got team number three. in their mouth and ripped a hole in it. It happened. This next one, you have to listen to these instructions very carefully. If you don't, you can be disqualified from this item. Not from the whole game, but from this item. Okay? So listen very closely. I'm going to tell you what I'm looking for and what you have to do with it. But before I do that, everyone in the room, you got to put your hands up in the air like you're being robbed. Hands up in the air like you're being robbed. Nobody is allowed to move. Nobody can move. All right? When I say go, team captains, when I say go, you need to collect five belts from your team. Hey! You holding one end, you holding the other. Wow. You will then bring them up to me, stretch it out end to end, show me that it stays together. If it does, you get the points. Team six! Team captains. For the next items that I'm asking for, there are multiple items. When you collect these items and you bring them up to me, you need to put them on the ground and count them in front of me. All right? I am looking for seven, seven pair of men's pants. Go! I want to announce that Team 5 did not end last. One. There we go. So the Quest Game Show is absolutely hilarious. Like, I look forward to that every single Royal Caribbean cruise. It's one of my favorite activities that you can go to. It's so funny. It is 18 and up because, as you saw some of, like, there are, there is nudity. Like, people get crazy. People get naked. People get crazy. People, it's insane. But it's so, so funny. It's so entertaining. I love it. And the cruise director on board is awesome. So we just got back from that. We're going to head to bed now because it's, like, 1 a.m. And I'm a grandma. Like, that's super late for me. So... We're gonna head to bed. Tomorrow's our last sea day. I'm so sad about that. Make sure you check out the rest of the Harmony vlogs. But for now, I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. It's so quiet down there. Usually there's music or something. I've never gone to bed this late. <laughs> if you wanna watch the rest of this video or the other Harmony of the Seas videos, make sure to check out my channel in the link below. Bye.